What's up guys? Out of all the questions I hear from you, I'm most often asked about how I make my videos, from what type of equipment I use, how I edit my videos, to how I go about structuring the entire process. Well, good news, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own videos for free using a Mac computer. Welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang, psychologist in private practice. I post videos offering tools I learned the hard way about starting and growing private practice so that you don't have to. Video is such a great tool for any business. Whether you're a therapist like me or you're in a different type of business, it's a great way for potential clients to get to know you and to build your brand a little bit. So if you're considering giving it a try, I really encourage you to give it a shot and see what it's like. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a video for free using a Mac computer. If you own a PC instead of a Mac, don't worry, I'm gonna post a separate video later in the future sometime showing you how to make a video for free using a PC. In order to make a video for free, there are three supplies that you'll need, which I'm assuming you may have access to already. First is a camera. Now, if you don't have a fancy camera, I actually discourage you from going out and buying one. If you have an iPhone, smartphone, something that helps you record video, I recommend starting with that. If you do have a fancy camera, by all means, feel free to pull it out and use it for this purpose. Second, you'll need a computer, and specifically in this video, a Mac computer. You can do some basic edits of video on apps on your phone or iPad, but it really is best if you have access to a full computer. And lastly, on your Mac computer, you're gonna need the iMovie app. Many Mac laptops come with it pre-downloaded, so you can go ahead and find it, but if you don't have it on your laptop or desktop yet, you can find it in the App Store and download it for free. Before it's time to hit the record button, it is really helpful to make some preparations in advance. I strongly suggest that you think at least a little bit about what you're gonna speak about in this video and specifically try to see if there's a specific problem that you can help somebody solve with some quick tips, a tool, a breathing exercise, a step-by-step -step plan. Think of that and have it ready to go. Personally, I really feel comfortable writing out a loose script in advance, but you can find a way that works for you. Maybe it's just writing out a couple of bullet points or even just kind of having it in your mind. Next, you're gonna to wanna to find some good lighting. Once again, I strongly discourage you from running out and buying a bunch of expensive equipment. You can just use the natural light that comes through your window. In fact, today I'm filming on a really gloomy day. It's practically raining outside, but there's still plenty of light coming in through the window. Some quick tips to find good lighting are to make sure that you have the natural light facing your face. And I'm gonna show you an example on my iPhone of what it looks like when I'm facing the window and how nice that lighting is. Now I'm gonna turn around and show you what it looks like when I have the light behind me. Now see, okay, it's still kind of okay, but it's just not quite as nice. It is much clearer even on my iPhone facing the window. Next, you're gonna wanna find the right placement for your camera. Assuming you're using your smartphone, like me, it's helpful to find a place to set it down and sort of prop it up, and that helps keep it from getting shaky. As an example, here's what it looks like but you can hold up the phone as well with a steady hand. The next piece you wanna consider is actually where the microphone is located on your phone. Here on my iPhone, it's located right here on the bottom. Make sure that you're not blocking that microphone. That's super key. The other piece you wanna consider is whether you're going to be filming in horizontal fashion or in vertical orientation, not fashion. And Usually on Instagram, you might post on in a vertical orientation, but otherwise most people are filming in the horizontal orientation. Finally, you're ready to hit record. When you do so, I encourage you to take as many takes as you need. Often if we feel like we have to get everything flowing in one take, we end up getting really fumbly, or if you're like me, you start to stutter and ramble on and on. So feel free to take multiple takes and we'll even have an opportunity to edit it later if there's some gaps or places that you wanna cut out. Once you've recorded all of your footage, go ahead and upload it to your Mac. Since I have an iPhone as my smartphone, I can easily share it via AirDrop, but you can also plug in your phone to your computer and upload it into your computer that way. If you don't yet have the iMovie app, go to the App Store, type in iMovie and go ahead and install the app. 
Once that's finished installing, you can go to the launch pad and find iMovie there. Go ahead and click on it. Once you're there, click create new and select movie. This creates a new project, which by default is called my movie. Next, click the downward arrow to import media and find the video that you created on your smartphone. You can go ahead and click on it and then drag it down to what's called the timeline. You can zoom in and out using this little slider right here. If you click at the beginning of the timeline and press space bar, it'll go ahead and play your clip for you. I'm noticing that there's some kind of dead space at the beginning. So I'm just gonna click on this edge and drag it to the right until it's at the right starting point. I'll show you another way to do the same thing by scrolling to the end and seeing here that I have some dead space again. Instead, I'm gonna click Command B and then it just chops it off and I can delete the extra. My face looks very small at the top and I don't need all this space on the bottom. So I'm just gonna drag this timeline to be smaller so I can see what's going on a little better. There are several tools up above where the video plays back designed to help you enhance things like the color and sound of your video. I recommend if you're just starting out to use auto enhance for the most part, because if you play with these settings too much, then it's going to start getting wonky real fast. Next, I want to look for any places where there's a little bit of dead space within the clip, or maybe I had a little slip up or a stutter and I want to cut it out. When I find one like this one, I can use that blade tool command B both at the beginning and the end of the space that I want to delete. That way I just have a smooth transition. Now I'd like to put a title towards the beginning of my video. So I'm gonna click titles up above where the imported media is at and I like this title. So when I'm ready, go ahead and click on it and drag it to the front of the entire video. I'm gonna show you another option, I'm gonna delete that. And you can also drag it straight on top of the video and you can see instead of a black background, you just see it on top of my face. I like it when it's up ahead in the front, but you can do what's best for you and just type in your title the way you like it. As I play it back, I see it's kind of a quick transition from my title to my video. So I'm gonna click on transitions and use the cross dissolve transition to drop right in between the title and where I start talking. That will just help blend the two together nicely. I also like to do towards the end a fade to black so it's just kind of clear when my video is over. Now when I stuck that there, I realized it kind of cut off a little bit of what I was saying. So I'm gonna double click on this transition and make it a little shorter and drag out what I'm saying so that I don't get cut off. You can also go back to this titles tab if you are interested in putting subtitles on your video. So you can find one that works for you, drag and drop it over your video on the timeline and go ahead and double click on it and type in your subtitles. Now you can select what font you prefer and personalize it the way you like. I won't be finishing off the subtitles for today's video, but you get the idea. Next, let's cover using copyright free music in your videos. Two ways to do it. First, you can go to the audio tab and find the theme music that's included in iMovie. Once you find the song you like, you can use I to signify the beginning of your clip and O to signify the end of your clip and drag the entire clip to your timeline. You can adjust the volume by dragging the horizontal line downwards and fade in by dragging that little dot to the right. If you'd like more options for music, you can use Use the YouTube audio library. This is all copyright free music. I can't stress enough how important it is to use copyright free music. You can choose genre or mood that fits best for you and listen to different songs until you find one that's a good fit. I really like this one called Dreamer. So I'm going to go ahead and download it and click on this little arrow in order to import it into my project. Once it's imported into our project, we can select it and drag it down to our timeline and make adjustments accordingly. I'm gonna give myself a little more space here and drag this to make it a little bit shorter, adjust the volume, make the sound fade in, and even use the blade tool there at the end to just chop off the extra. Sometimes I like to put titles throughout my video when I'm going through steps or giving specific tips. I like to highlight it with a title. So go ahead and go back to titles and drag down one that you like and adjust it by double clicking on it and typing in whatever you wish. You can drag it out to make it longer or shorter based on how much time you want it to be on the screen for. Once I have the first title set, I just copy and paste it over and over for the remaining times that I need to use that same title formatting. 
And then this video is pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna click on this box on the upper right hand corner to export it, make sure I have it set to high resolution and high quality, and wait for this little circle to fill in in order to have it finished. And then once it's all done, we can go back and watch our finished product. Hi there, I'm Dr. Marie Fang. Today I'm gonna to share a quick tip to help you get over a panic attack if it's happening right now. My first tip is to just let you know it is going to pass. Panic attacks are not able to last for longer than 10 minutes typically, so I know it's incredibly uncomfortable, but if you allow yourself to sit through the discomfort, it will pass eventually. Tip number two is a quick deep breathing exercise. I wanna invite you to put your hands on your stomach. Inhale slowly, counting to four. And then exhaling slowly, counting to four. My third tip for dealing with a panic attack if it's happening to you right now, is to actually encourage you not to avoid the situation that's triggering the panic for you. I know this sounds completely counterintuitive, but the idea here is that if you stick with the situation, it'll help teach your body to learn that even though we're panicking and freaking out, nothing bad actually happens to us when we stick through it. If we exit the situation that's making us freak out, then that can actually reinforce the panic so that we're more likely to panic in that situation again in the future. Well, I hope you found these tips helpful and until next time, I'm Dr. Marie Fang and I hope you have a great day. Once you've exported your video, you're ready to upload it wherever you might like to feature it. If you're wanting to put it on Instagram, it's important to get it back on your phone, either through sharing through AirDrop or manually connecting your phone to your computer to post on Instagram, or you can upload to YouTube and even embed that video straight onto your website, which is a wonderful way for potential clients to get to know you and your brand better. Once you get the hang of things and you're ready to start investing a little more money to make your videos more professional, don't run out and buy a fancy camera just yet. The first thing I want you to buy before buying anything else is a lapel microphone. In fact, I wear one in all of my videos and that's why you can hear me so crisply. The one I use is super cheap. I think it's like $20 or maybe less. It's this one, it comes in this box. It's the one I'm using today and I'll go ahead and leave a link to it below if that's something you're interested in. You can get an attachment and connect it straight into your iPhone and use that for some really crisp audio. Research shows that investing in audio makes so much more of a difference than investing in video quality. There's something about how we process audio that's super important to get that down as opposed to the video quality. And my last tip for you is to give yourself an opportunity for lots of practice. I've noticed for most people, the biggest barrier is getting over how uncomfortable we feel seeing ourselves on the camera and listening back to what our voice sounds like. So practice several times, maybe even do a few practice rounds before you ever post so that you can feel a little bit more comfortable. But even if you're still feeling a little uncomfortable with your finished product, I assure you posting it and getting it out there is gonna serve you better than just endlessly waiting until you get the perfect product and potentially never posting at all. If you look back at some of my initial videos, they're completely cringe-worthy and in my opinion, super embarrassing but that's where I started and over time I've learned and grown, I think quite a bit. So go ahead and give yourself the opportunity to do that as well. Well, I hope this video has inspired you to get started with video. If you do give it a try, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see what kind of work you guys are putting out there. Until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. You wanna do some training? Okay, get down. Okay, Jay, sit. <clears throat> sit. Jay, stand. Jay, touch. Good day. There you go. Yum, yum. Up. Jay, touch, switch. Good day. Oh, is this? Who's that? Hello. Hello. I brought Girl Sky cookies home. I didn't give Johnny a treat yet. Kiss her. There you go.